every no I don't think I should do my intro with my hair like this I don't, I don't think I'm vibing no I will do the intro when my hair's done because I mean I think people will click off the video <laughs> looking at my hair like this like hi guys welcome to a hair tutorial like no 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 Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, 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 so. I feel like you could so, <laughs> I mean, that was just ironic. I feel like you could definitely play a drinking game with the amount of times I say so in my videos. That every time I edit, I'm like, why do I do it? But I do it in every single video. So I've tried my best not to say it in this video. I don't know how well it's like, I've done it, but I just do it. I'm like, right, so, so, shut up. <laughs> anyway, moving on to today's video. I'll go on it, you know, it's not good when you've got makeup on. Yeah. In today's video, I am going to share with you guys my really, really easy, quick and simple hair tutorials I do when I have straight hair. They are so, so simple. You might watch this video and think like, what the hell, Like, why is she showing me this? But it's just my tips and tricks that I've learned along the way that have helped me sort of maintain my straight hair and just to help it really. So that is basically what I wanted to do with you guys and share it with you. And I have a lot of like recent hairstyles that I do when I have straight hair that I don't think I've shared with you guys on my channel like how to actually do it so that is what I wanted to do so anyway if you want to see all the different hair looks that I create with straight hair then please keep watching don't know what this thing was doing then I was like oh <laughs> does everyone like my hair right now I mean I thought I'd really like come prepared for a hair video <laughs> <gasps> what is going on with my hair? Like, no joke, it's been like this all day. Like, I've been to the gym, had a shower. It's just stayed like it. And I just, I don't really know what's going on, to be honest. But hey-ho. Also, I'm really sorry if I keep looking down. I'm not looking at my boobs. <laughs> but I've got this play suit. I love it so much. It's so cute. But it's v-neck here. And I don't know if you can see, like, the inside bit. It keeps coming out. And it's really annoying. So, like, bear with this tutorial is basically to show you guys different hairstyles that I do in my hair. My hair has definitely grown out a little bit. I mean, let's take it off my bun. It's basically just all sort of my go-to hair. Okay, it looks so short. Oh, I should have like, what the hell is going on? Oh my God. Basically gonna share with you guys different hairstyles that I do, sort of my go-to ones. Goes from really, really simple to sort of my updos, my down -dos. Up, like low pony whatever um and yeah things like that really so yeah that's sort of the aim for today's video i'm sorry my hair looks like this right now like it's just not a vibe is it it looks actually disgusting it looks like i don't even know i don't even know guys first hair look that i am gonna do for you guys is my normal plain straight hair but i i'm good at straight hair I'm really, really good at straightening my hair. Not that it's hard to do or anything, but I do find that a lot of people do find it hard like to get dead straight hair, but I feel like I've kind of nailed that. Quite easy once you know. Oh my God. <gasps> I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder like, am I really going on YouTube like this? Like it literally looks like I've been electrocuted. I mean, I mean, the, I hope the after's gonna be good. What is going on? Anyway, right, let's do sections. We're gonna have to do smaller sections because this hair is just not okay today. It's a good start, isn't it, everyone? You wanna really, really brush your hair through. So, this is hairstyle number, not two, one. Number one, dead, dead straight hair. I feel like I've mastered this now. Like, I mean, not to burst my own bubble, but like, it has taken me a while, and I feel like I'm really, really good at it. So my tips for this is to always have like smaller sections if you want like straight straight hair and another thing which my mum taught me was literally go as close as your root possible but then drag the straightener really really slow out and you can either curve in the bottom bit or keep it straight but it is like dead straight and then just literally do it over your whole head doesn't take long to do. I mean, straightening my hair is a lot easier for me to do than curling my hair, but it is literally just personal preference of the poles. Oh, it's gone kinky at the bottom because I've had it up for like two days straight. And basically, I want to grow my hair up for summer. And I mean, it has grown a lot, but I've like, tried not to put as much heat on it as possible, which I'll show you in this video, like hairstyles that I do if I don't want to put any or just like not a lot of heat on. I do like some hairstyles. Don't you ask. I'll show you them soon. 
Right, I'm gonna change tops quick because this one is just stressing me out. One sec. Right, I'm back. I think I wore this top in my last video, but I don't care. I don't care. Right, again, just really, really slowly. And then when you finish that suction, when you finish that suction, when you finish that section, uh, if it needs to, go over it. But if it doesn't need to, then don't. But I sometimes go over it because, especially in this section, because there's like kinks right at the bottom, but you have to use that really small bits of hair. Okay, so this section is done. I'm literally gonna do the same to my head, but I'm gonna speed it up for you guys so you're not <laughs> bored because I've got other hair things that I need to do. So, yeah, that's it really. Enjoy this fast pace of me doing my hair. So this is sort of what we're working with since I've straightened it, like fresh. My hair's a little bit greasy, which is so annoying considering I just washed it yesterday. So that's more annoying. Um, I feel like straight hair works better when you literally just wash it. So if you wash it, blow dry it, and then straighten it, it's literally like so straight. Right, there's an ice cream man outside my house. Hmm. Now what I want to do to add a little bit more shine and stuff to it, this isn't sponsored, um, I genuinely really like it, it's from Beauty Works, it's their 10 in 1 at Miracle Spray, um, I'm obsessed with it, it's got um, anti frizz, moisturising, glosses and shines, there's literally so many things about it, but it just really really helps my hair, what I do though is spray it into the brush, a little trick, so I literally spray it into the brush, and then just brush my hair through so it sort of goes evenly in my hair. Um, it also smells insane. I literally feel like I'm promoting that product right now. I'm really not. <laughs> I just really like it. Like, it just really works well with my hair. Now this is what I do if I want like dead straight hair. I normally sort of tuck it behind my ear like so. That's literally what I do. It's not really like a major hairstyle, but for straight hair, I feel like on a go-to basis, it's really, really easy. Goes with a lot, and I like it. You can sort of do it by behind, what? Behind two if you want, or you can like have it behind and then like bring these forward like so. So, during the video, I've decided to sort of change it up a bit. Now, I thought I would do sort of different hairstyles when you have straight hair. Never seen a video like that. There probably is because it's YouTube, I mean, like, come on. But, I've never seen a video like it. So, I'm not going to curl it today. But if you do want me to curl it, I feel like you guys have seen me do it so many times recently. But if you do want me to curl it, all my natural hair and stuff, write in the comments down below if you would like me to. Let me know, because if you do, I will film it for you guys. But I think for this video, I'm going to keep my hair straight, show you guys different hair tutorial, different hair? Different hair styles that I do when I have straight hair. Now, normally I would like, whenever I straighten my hair, it changes every day. It depends sort of how it falls. But if I'm having like off days with my straight hair and it's just not vibing with me, I'll do a lot of these hairstyles I think you guys can benefit from, which still look nice, but are really, really easy to do. So this is the first straight hairstyle. It's the most simple one out of the whole looks I'm gonna do for you guys. But I feel like if you sort of do my techniques and products that I use, it should help you a lot. Um, another tip, which is also really good, which my mum taught me, she needs a channel. If you get hairspray, get your hand, hairspray your hand, and then you can, do you know sometimes you get little baby hairs at the top? You just do that, it will literally pin them down, and it doesn't like go like too hairspray-y, like it does, it's not really stiff hairspray-y. Like I'm really good at like describing things, aren't I? <laughs> I've zoomed you guys out a little bit so you can sort of see all my hair, but yeah, this is the first one, my hair's all one length, so it's quite a block dial, but um, I really, really like it. This product does wonders to hair, so I definitely recommend it. Not a spawn, should be, but it's not. <laughs> but I just love it. But yeah, hair number one. I need to stop doing like one, two, because I mean, like that's four. What am I doing? <laughs> right. Now that it's all done, hairstyle number two is so easy. You don't really, mm, you kind of do I suppose. You need like the top section to be straight and like a couple of strands to be straight, but the rest of it doesn't have to be. So this is something that I do like the day after I straighten my hair because I don't want to put heat on it and I don't. 
but it still works well because it's like you can see what well, I'm so bad at explaining you can sort of see that my hair is straight underneath if that makes any sense so what you're gonna do is just get two like thin strands of hair at the front right and then you're gonna pull the rest of your hair backwards right the next step is to Ugh. get some hair bands I've got three here I've got show you up close a thick two thick ones um, and then a thin one as you can see there I'm using all three my hair's quite thick so it's really annoying that if I ever do a bun it just falls down so I use three what you're gonna do is pull your hair back into like a low pony so just sort of do it as if you're doing a low pony brush your hair through you sort of want to get a little bit of the back too get rid of a little bit of the parting you're gonna like place on where you sort of want your bun to go. I do mine low-ish, like here, but it's completely up to you, like as low as possible. And then I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see like what I do. See there? Literally just gonna do a bun. But as you can see, as I put the hairband over, I put my hands over the band and then tie it in a knot, but then I use the rest of the hairband to go over. Like so, you'll get little flyaway bits like this, but I'll get rid of them in a minute, like so. Then of course you're gonna get hairs that are gonna come out. You can use bobby pins. I don't know where any of mine are gone. I'd recommend bobby pins, but if not, I'm gonna get a thin hairband. Tie where I want it to be. Well, actually, you don't need a hairband. You can just sort of find more other hairbands and just like pop it in. It should look like this. So simple to do. And then what you're gonna do is pull this part of your hair fall, like, up a bit just to smooth it out. You can also get a hairbrush and go over it lightly. Um, whenever I do this hairstyle, I don't know why, but when I add like big earrings, like hoops or like gold earrings or whatever, it just makes it look 10 times better. And I don't know why, but I just, just does. So that's what I do every time. I would say, oh, we've got this hair in my ring. Lovely. I'd say at the moment this hairstyle is my ultimate go-to look. I love it. I feel like it just goes with everything. I feel confident in it and my hair's up my face. I don't have to worry about weather. I don't have to worry about doing my hair like properly and spending loads of time on it in the morning. It's just so quick and easy. Like bam 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 bam. No? Like I just, I don't know why. I really like it. So this is the hair look number two and I hope you guys like it as well because it's just so easy to do and I love it. I do wish the short like these bits were a bit shorter but my sister she's one of them's a hairdresser daisy she's like don't cut your hair at all just leave it all one length let it grow and then just style it however you like because i used to like put layers and stuff in it and my hair ended up going into a v at the back it was really strange but it just didn't like look healthy so that's why i got it cut short um but yeah, I'm just trying to work with what I got here. But yeah, it's all right. I would prefer it if it was a bit shorter, but maybe in a while I'll cut it. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, number two. I hope you guys like it. How many times have I said it? We get Amy. It's number two. <laughs> okay. So hairstyle number three. I should have done this secondly. I don't know why I didn't do it first. Right, let me take this out quick. One sec. Okay, so hair look number three. Um, This is Ariana Grande vibes, like completely i think you guys know what i'm gonna do this is just a really really simple half up half down make sure all your hair is brushed through and it's it is uh, oh, and it's straight the whole way through what you're gonna do you can either is it either or either 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 do it from like get a section from your ears and pull upwards like so which i think i might do or go from like your eyebrows. No, I'm gonna do this one actually. Yeah, I'm gonna sort of go where my eyebrows are. Go up and just pull a section like this. I'm then just gonna get my brush and just pull all the hair backwards. Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna do it from my ear. I've decided. I feel like it just works better with my head shape because I've got a really fat head. Bloody annoying. So once you've done that, you're gonna get some hairspray hairspray the front so you can sort of get your baby hairs and then what I'm going to do first of all is get a little hairband and just tie up a pony I always feel like whenever I do this it goes like really knotty does that happen to anyone else like a really knotted ponytail it's really frustrating pull it tight but yeah and then get hairspray and spray this bit down Like so, honestly, these hairstyles are so easy, but they're so easy to do, basically. That's why I wanted to film it, because you can do so many different looks with straight hair and it actually looking okay. Like, for example, 
if you're going on a night out, you're wearing straight hair, fair enough. It get, it's like raining or whatever, it gets windy, or you're sick of your hair in your face. This is such an easy hairstyle to do because you're pulling like the main parts out of it. It's at the back, but from like face on. Hair looks good, you know? So, you know, I sounded Australian then. Oh, but like, yeah, it looks good in my eyes. Like, I really, really like it. It's like out of the way, but it still looks glam because your hair's down, but yeah. Ariana Grande vibes. <laughs> I do like it though. So the next hair tutorial, you don't really need to have um, straight hair for. I mean, it does look a bit better, but I suppose if you use loads of hairspray, you don't need to, but anyway. I'm literally getting, I think I've got four hair bands in my hand. In my hand? In my hand right now. I'm gonna do like a really high, Pony. I do think you do actually need straight hair, I suppose, but I don't know. So you're gonna get your hairbrush, get all your hair, and you're just gonna put it in a pony. Nothing too difficult, but make sure you keep brushing your hair through. So when you've got it in like the position you want it, get hairspray, spray the front, flatten it down. You can also get a toothbrush. You get a toothbrush and spray it with hairspray. It'll get down all your baby hairs like magic. This hairstyle is good for school, like say if you straighten your hair in the weekend, on the Monday you can just put your hair up or for work or anything like that and you're literally good to go. So this is that simple. You can spray down any hairs on the sides or your baby hairs, whatever, but it's so, so simple and easy to do, but it's really, really effective. It's all out of your face and it still looks nice and glam at the same time. So yeah, that's probably like the easiest one to do out of all of them. It's so simple, but effective. So the last hairstyle is super, super easy. It's, you're gonna take out your ponytail, or whatever hairstyle you've got. You don't really have to have straight hair for this, but it's up to you. I'm using four hairbands again. So I've got the same position as my ponytail was before, but I'm gonna do a bun. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see like up close what I do. Twist, stop halfway, and pull. This does not work with straight hair. Lie. <laughs> no, thanks guys. I look like I'm in like the Spice Girls. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god. So normally my bum's alright, but it just wasn't working out today. Like I don't really know what was happening. So we're not doing that hairstyle. Like that's gone out the window. <laughs> ah, oh god. Um the next one we are gonna do is also very simple, but I do it a lot. This is like the concept of the video. Simple but effective, you know? You're gonna have straight hair. Literally, you can use a finger or get like a brush or a comb or whatever. Do a parting. I'm doing a side parting for this. You can do like any parting that you want. But I feel like this look looks really good with a side parting. So you basically, it's a very sleek look. You're gonna tuck both sides behind your ear. You can hairspray any bits down, but because I've literally been hairspraying my hair throughout the whole thing, it's actually staying. And this is literally, I've got an itchy armpit, oh. This is literally the whole look, it's so easy to do, but I feel like for like, that was loud, a night out or like a glam event or something, how sleek and like classy does this hair look? But it's so easy to do, like it takes two minutes, like obviously after you've straightened your hair and stuff, but it's so easy. I'm gonna do more of a side parting, I think. Yeah, this is just so easy to do and it's so effective. I'm sorry if you're like, oh my god, this is the worst video. They're such easy hairstyles. They are, but they're, that's the concept of the video. Easy hairstyles, which are easy to do, but also look effective and sleek and classy. So everyone, this is the end of the video. I've decided to go back to this hairstyle because it's my favourite hairstyle out of the whole look. I literally love it so much. And obviously my hair's a bit on the greasy side so having it up and away is just like the best thing for it at the moment because it's just, I don't have to deal with it. I feel like, I mean that bus was very loud. I feel like whenever my hair's like down, I just play with it and it's just like, no. Whereas when it's at my face, I love it. Especially in the summer. So, Good. I am excited to grow my hair out though. Like I'm looking forward to long hair again. I uh, hope. Well, I reckon I'll be like I'm annoyed. <laughs> I want to grow. I want to get it short again. Like, what's going on? Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, it would be amazing if you could give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends and your family, and also subscribe if you're new to my channel. Join the family. 
I always want as many people to join. Everyone is welcome. Click this, what? <laughs> Click the big red subscribe button. I can't talk, what is going on with me? Click the big red subscribe button down below, be this side, this side, one of the sides, make sure you click it, subscribe, and also put my bell on, which is next to the subscribe button, because then you'll be notified on whenever I upload a video. I upload twice a week on a Monday and a Thursday. However, announcement time. <laughs> Recently, there's a bike going past. Recently, I've decided to, I'm starting it next week. Um, I, actually, no, it's this week when you're watching this. Oh my God, it's this week. I sort of want to do like a weekly vlog. So I'm going to stick to my Monday and Thursday uploads, but then I also want to upload a video on a Sunday. But her, her, her. Um, I also want to upload a video on a Sunday which is just a weekly vlog. I mean it could be a day in the week or just the whole week, whatever. I just want you guys to be more involved in my life. I mean I don't, this isn't what I do like or that, I mean I do film a lot but like I don't spend my life doing this. I want you to like get to know me better, get to know my life and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's the plan since next week and I've got my little vlogging camera I'll do my vids on and all that kind of stuff so yeah anyway enough of me jabbering on it's been like four minutes I'm gonna have to cut this down if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe I've already said all this <laughs> sharp now and I will see you guys in my next video on Thursday make sure you're there love you bye